Well, my boy, would you just look at that view? And good morning. Good morning, little weed. <laughs> the difference between the way I look when I wake up and how my son looks when he wakes up. We're just two big potatoes, aren't we? And ladies and gentlemen, welcome your faces to a new dawn and a new day. Where this little guy's ready to start his day. And finally, so am I. So let's get down these stairs on these scales and see what we're saying. 11 stone three. I will take thee. What a way to start a day. As we're heading out the house and heading to the gym, we're hopping in the beast to burn off these boobs. And I know it's a marathon, not a sprint. But to say I've lost a stone in just over three weeks, I'm going to say that's pretty damn good and it's all thanks to charlotte who would have thought pt and camera woman Thank you so much. Session six. Session seven. Oh. I'll check the diary. Session honestly. Because we're on to our fourth week. Thank you so much. Honestly, one of the best decisions I made. And this is the person to do it with. I'm telling you. Oh my gosh, is that England's ass? Yeah, it is. <laughs> and just like that, another session sorted. Oh, I feel like one sweaty boy. But do I feel better for it? Do I? Now get me in that house and get me making some moves. Because we've got stuff to do. Not going to sort itself. Honey, I'm home. And home my honey is not. Lydia's not here. It's just yours truly. And walking through this empty house, I've just remembered that my bald cousin Sean did not ring me back last week at all about finishing this unit. It needs the skirts going on. It needs pulling in at the sides. It needs a new countertop and then it needs the finishing touches with the painter decorator but like i said i've not heard from him in quite a while so i've sent a voice note and i'm hoping we can try and secure him in this week to get this job done because as it stands as of recently when i've been putting my mind to something we've been absolutely smashing it getting shit done and getting motivated and i want to keep up this momentum just like i've noticed kevin my chameleon's bulb has gone out it needs replacing so let's get it sorted i'm hoping this 200 iq played off Oh, in case of emergency, have a replacement. Ta-da! Only just started this day and we're turning losses into wins. I like it, I like it, I like it. We do have a small list of things we need to do today. Starting off, we need to do the protein shake. Which, can you all stop abusing me for just loving childish cereals? I've not eaten any of these in four weeks. I've been eating this. So my protein shake is a good replacement because it's quite literally called cereal milk. And it's kind of nice. We give it a shake, shake, shake. And we give it a slurp. Mmm. Still needs more shaking. It's very bitty. Mmm, <laughs> I found myself a little bit sidetracked by the helmet I bought yesterday. Because I bought the helmet because I really liked it and I need one for riding in. But I forgot how actually epic this helmet is because it's got built-in GoPro mounts. So to everyone asking for me to do some moto vlogs, I'm going to be able to do it really, really easily. So if you'd like to see some of them, leave a comment down below. But I'm going to try and set that up a little bit later today. But what are we saying for take two? Mmm. Better. Ooh, made a discovery. Down in the basement, we have a dweller by the name Derek, where, oh. Did you know it is Phil Collins' birthday today? Really? Well, that's good to know. But as I was saying, Derek is indeed a smart home system enabled Hoover. And it's only just dawned on me now that I can actually set up voice commands with screenshot on screen now to get him to activate. So with my watch, clean the basement. Sorry. Or not? Great success. We talked about this. Stop showing off when the camera's rolling. First it was eating my instructions. And now this. What is this? The uprising? I should really watch what I say to Derek because one day when the uprising happens and I get in this massage chair, he's going to hack it and just crush me to death. But as I figure out the kinks for Derek, not those kind of kinks, I'm going to enjoy a recovery massage. Ah, yes. Lovely. 20 minutes later. Well, that was absolutely amazing. Right, we're going to try this one again. I've... Fiddles around and I think I've got it working. Are you ready? Clean basement. Sorry, something went wrong. Why? I've just tested this off camera. Okay, we're gonna try a different smart system. Ask Rumba to clean basement. Okay, I'll tell Derek to vacuum the basement. Oh my gosh, we did 
did it. I don't know why that wasn't working. I got it working a second ago, but let's go! Flipping it, it would have been faster for me to grab that broom and brush this up myself. But anyway, he's doing his job, and um, I'm actually going into here right now because I'm toying with the idea of jumping in the sauna for a little bit after that gym session. I've not actually been in here in a sweet minute, and it is very cold. So I'm gonna need to top up some water for the coals, hope it even works, and oh boy, is it cold. And hopefully when it's up and running, enjoy a nice cleanse. I need a shower after the gym anyway, so I might as well sweat it out, shower, and start the rest of the day. But first, I've got to point out a bit of a problem. I just came upstairs to start up the bike for later today, hopped on it, tried to turn it over, and when I do, Oh dear. Oh dear. The battery is completely flat. I thought we had the trickle charger plugged in, which we did. It connected from this into this, but like a potato, it wasn't plugged in at the other end. So I'm going to set this up now, hopefully knowing I've got the right cable I need organized down in the basement. And are you ready? Turn on the storage room. Dun, 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 dun. Yes. Now, in my drawer of plugs, uh, which one is it? Yes, that's what I need. This room coming in clutch. Honestly, it's like my Minecraft chest area. It's great. I should now just be able to plug this into the other end, get it charging, and hope that by the time I get out of the sauna, this thing will be ready to rock. <laughs> We're actually all smart system everything today. You ready? Close the garage door. It works. Great success. Such a good job I checked that. Because if I would have gotten ready and was like, right, let's go for a ride, and it was dead, I would have been absolutely gutted. Oh, and apparently a package has been delivered. Oh, yeah. Thanking you. And I do believe I owe a shout out to JME for this one. Because if it is what I think it is, pop, pop, pop. Yes. It's the absolute game changers. The 3M Claw drywall picture hangers. And apparently, these guys are capable of holding some weight. So I got a 15, a 25, and a 45. I then also got a 30 and I got another pack because I got a feeling I'm going to be hanging up a lot more stuff in the future. We could be seeing the end of me drilling through walls and embracing the science. Why stood at the front of my house? Can I just hear sirens? Greater Manchester Police, my torch is not a lethal weapon. Um, and you know when police turn off the sirens when they get close enough to something? Well, I heard them and they've just stopped in the area. So uh, I'm just going to just close the door and hope for the best. Looking good, Derek, looking good. Just got a massive jug of water for Kevin. I need to top up his water fountain in the background. Glug, 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 glug. Hello, my friend. It's nice to see you. To see you nice. How's the sauna getting on? Bloody hell. It's gone from eight to 57 in that amount of time. Wow. I can he wait. Just realized that if I'm gonna have a shower afterwards, uh, I should probably move the random wooden unit out of here. And why is me hoovering here? What's going, wait, Derek can't see this. Derek can't see. Go, 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 He'll never know. He'll never know. Right, let's actually get rid of this because I don't need this unit in here and I'm actually just getting rid of it in general. It served a purpose at one stage for putting my towels on, but I stepped it up and got this. Stop telling me to remove the buckets. It's art. It's a centerpiece. It looks good. Hmm, as I'm just about to take this outside to get rid of it, I can't help but think this would be a pretty purposeful thing to have in there if it fits. And it does. I still need to deep clean this entire area though. But shiver me timbers and call me Sally. That's pretty much spot on. It's in keeping with the wood. It helps us being able to stack things. And I'm repurposing something rather than just getting rid of it. Nice. What else is left in this room? All right, we got boxes, hats, shower gel, and oh yeah, a tennis ball. All right, ready to have an actual shower in. But I'm just gonna check something because I'm 99% sure that the hot water is not running out of this tap at the moment. And it should be. Oh, hang on a second. Got a bit of a, <laughs> a horny. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Why is it going sideways? Yeah, I'm going to need to fix that. In the simple manner of like running your fingers along it, just like clears it out. But as I was saying about the hot water thing, yeah, I don't think hot water's coming through this. It's connected directly into a boiler. That's like a whopping 15 feet away. So we technically shouldn't be having any problems of waiting for the water to get there. Let me check the plant room. And is the boiler offline? Bum, 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 bum. Oh, hmm. It's due a service. And evidently we would be right in saying that the central heating is off. So that is actually what's feeding the water to the actual shower. And that's been offline. So uh, let's get it back on track. It's set to 80 degrees, which I will say seems a little hot, but okay. It's due a service anyway, so when Carl comes around, I'll get him to check it and make sure it's all good. And on the way in, I just got the notification saying, Derek's done with his job, 
And he is, good lad. Sauna's ready. Shower's scorching. And it's time to get sweaty. So this is me before, during, and after. Oh my gosh. Wow. That was intense. Oh, I'm going to pass out. I liked it. I liked it a lot. I'm not quite sure why I fixed the hot water in there, because this goes very cold, and I'm going to get under it as ice cold as I can get. Woo! Spicy! And we're out. I feel good. I feel fresh. I've got a tingly ball bag. That mint stuff is no joke. I've made the bed. You're gonna click subscribe and ding dong that notification bell. Hmm? These bad boys need to go in the basement. And then I need to get this built, which is another one of them. But Lydia loved it that much and she wanted one more there. Literally. There's one there and she wants one there. Sure. But I'm doing none of that until I work out if this bike is charged. Moment of truth. It's been on for like maybe an hour or something. I doubt that's going to be long enough, but we'll soon find out. Are you ready? The lights on it look a lot brighter. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Ooh, whilst I remember, I'm actually after a brand new plate for this bike. Anyone with any suggestions? Wait a minute. I actually think I have a spare license plate. I have X triple one TGC, X triple two TGC. And if I'm right in saying, yes. I own X333 TGC. I did just try to see if I could buy X125 TGC, but it's not available. That would have been sick. But rather than bombing around with some random plate on, I could get that changed over. Obviously, I'd need to get a change of actual shape of plate to, uh, to fit the bike. And that'd be sick. I'm going to make a phone call. 15 minutes later. It turns out that license plate, X333 TGC, I never assigned to a vehicle. So with this document, I can actually go straight to a place that makes license plates, provide them with this document, come home with the plate, jump online, and assign X333 TGC to this. Mega. Now I've just got to find a place that's still open and they can hopefully do it today. All right. Now I'm not Googling B&M here because I want to go to B&M. I'm actually Googling B&M because I've made a phone call to one of my friends who knows of a license plates place. And apparently it's just opposite the B&M in Hyde and it's here. TMS Auto Parts. So I'm going to ring them because apparently they actually do license plate for vehicles. I've just got to find out if they do motorbikes. Um, I spoke to them. They said bring down the document and we'll see if we can get it done today. I just got a feeling there's so many more tasks I need to be doing rather than getting distracted with a license plate. But it is what it is. I'm doing exactly what I want to do today. So we're taking this upstairs. We're picking an attire. I think I'm going casual. And can I just showcase these jeans again, right? That's what I'm about to put on my riding jeans. These are my normal jeans. Let's see if you can even tell the difference. These normal jeans. Yep. Wait a second. These riding jeans. Mate, I swear, I swear you can't even tell. Like, obviously, you might spot the padding, but you would have no idea I wasn't wearing, like, my going out jeans. These are great. All right, now I've just got to work out this GoPro situation. Apparently, I just, like, lick this off. Like so, definitely sound like I broke it then. And then inside this bag should be a set of attachments. There you go. Oh, ain't no way it's just that simple. Oh my gosh, it is. That's really it? Okay, this helmet was worth the money already. Like seriously. All right, and then we just place that onto there like so. And press and hold. And hey, I've got my GoPro charged, ready to go. And we'll give it a bit of a zoom zoom. Hmm. Ah, it recommends having like one of those curved arms. Well, lucky for me, down in the base nido, in my conveniently organized set of drawers, labeled GoPro, wing, we should have one of these in there. Oh, ho, ho. I'm somebody stoked right now. She's safe and secured, and we just slide it into place. I have now got the ability to ride around and GoPro at the same time. We obviously need to work out the whole uh, audio situation, so you're probably just gonna have some B-roll music, but, oh, I love it! Yes! <laughs> and do you know what else I love apart from this is this jacket that I'm wearing, I'm gonna put you down again, because this front pocket is so convenient. The document that I need to take down there, I've just got a Ryan Blurridge, it tucked away in there, so I don't need a big backpack or anything, and I can carry something like a kangaroo on my front pouch. Brilliant. Mm, I'm not looking forward to this moment, and I only just clicked that. I've got to try and wear my glasses whilst I'm riding, otherwise I'm legally friggin' blind. So let's put this on, and there should be space for it to actually go in. And luckily, these are pretty, like, flimsy. And the survey says... Oh, yeah. Oh, it's not even a problem. Oh, it's not even a problem. Look at that. Extra eye protection. Oh, brilliant. I actually thought that was going to be really painful, but... 
Now that slots into place, well good. Oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, I'm just a giddy kipper right now. Kind of look like a Teletubby, but we won't talk about that. Hope and sesame. As I prepare for my maiden voyage, I just thought about it. I'd actually love to see, I don't know if this one comes off, but it'd be cool if I could mount the GoPro like on the chin. I've seen a lot of like, GoPro chin mounts, I think that'd be pretty cool. Cause then it's just out the way in it rather than nee, 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 nee. I unfortunately don't have my new boots, so I'm gonna have to wear these bad boys. That's fine, they do the job. Even if they do look a little bit odd. I need my gloves and we're good to go. Gonna disconnect live support. Get her out on the front. Andy, what could possibly go wrong with my maiden voyage? Everything. <laughs> and I think, bum, 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 we're ready to switch to GoPro. Wish me luck. All right, kickstand up, check my mirrors. Boot her up. Hey, she's a softer, isn't she? Yeah! Right. This is going to be uh, the funny thing of trying to get past the car. All right. <laughs> Famous last words, Andy. Oh. Don't fall, don't break it. Yeah! See you later! See you later, alligator. See you later, alligator in a wild crocodile. Yo, this feels sick. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm so glad I'm back on the bike. Oh my gosh, this is honestly so good. But I need to be careful because I've got to keep the tires on this thing warmed up because the massive lack of grip I've got, because I'm on knobblies, like my surface area to the road is like cut in half or whatever. So yeah, got to warm it up. But look at it. Just look at it. Oh my gosh. We've only gone and done it. Yo, again, shout out to Speedy. If it wasn't for Speedy, this thing would not be back there in his son Hudson. Thank you so much, guys. Absolutely wicked. All right, let's go and see if we can get a new license plate. Bop, 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 bop. All right, and where we're going is there, that auto park shop. So fingers crossed, this is the only document I need and you can switch the plate. But we have arrived at our destination, TMS Auto Parts. All right, here's to hoping. Well, they got bloody everything you need for a car. Whoa. That right there is what I'm after. A bit more, it's five. So you want Second. to buy a number plate? Yeah. yeah. That reg? Yes, please. Yeah, that's right. Have you got your driving license? I have. Come back about a fast four. Sweet, I'll be then. All right. All right, cheers, mate. Thank you very much. Absolutely epic. I can't believe that was so smooth sailing. I also can't believe that I actually own that license plate and never put it on a vehicle. I always planned and intended on putting it on my Merc, but then vlogs came available. So I used that instead. And I'd love to go for like more of a unique name, but I have a spare license plate just hanging around that cost me 500 pounds. So why not put it to use? Not sure who I hit on the way here, but that red paint was not there earlier. Um, anywho, I'll be back in an hour and a half. All right, let's go put some fuel in it and uh, go for a bit of a ride. Woo! It would help if I turn the back off. This thing's really running on empty to the point where it's flashing at me. So uh, we're going to put in a whopping... Are you ready for this? Like, the amounts of money that you actually put into a motorbike compared to a car are insane. Oh, this thing comes off. Completely forgot. I thought it just flapped over. And if I remember what Speedy said, he said, always use uh, the V-Power stuff. He was like, otherwise this... Dun -dun, rots away at your engine like crazy. And it'll end up like it did last time. So are you ready? Are you steady? Watch how fast this thing fills up. It's it's kind of ridiculous. And done. Every drop counts, and it's a whopping bum 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 seven pounds. No, big one. My RuneScape best friend. What up? I got it back on the road. Well, I've got it ready to go off the road. I've got some knobblies on it and stuff. But what do you think? This about you remember this, right? Yeah. My first know. motorbike. Yeah. Finally, like, mate, it was ruined, but I got it back on the road. And I'm like, yes. Are so I'm just getting. Oh no, mate! Yeah, I only put a thousand miles on it. He snuck yeah. a Snickers down his pants. <laughs> Is that a Mars bar? Or are you just happy to see me? <laughs> what an actual bloke! Look at him. He said he's gonna come and do some off-roading with us in his little uh, his little Jimmy. But belting for seven quid, she's filled, and we can finally go on an adventure. Well, no time like the present. Let's try and get away from all these cars and all these roads. Ah. 
Well, the one place I was going to go, it says it's illegal to use motorbikes up there, so we will not go to the private access road only. Right, we're gonna go up some random country roads, and there's a donkey! Nay! I can't not say, would you just look at that view? Oh my gosh, that's insane. It just had to be done. I had to pull over, get a picture of the bike with that view behind it and just say, wow, would you just look at that view? Absolutely stunning place to come and see the world. And then absolute scruffs just ditch mountains of rubbish along the way. It's just disgusting. My dad always says it best. Why would you want to go somewhere where you enjoy the view and then ruin it? Not just for yourself, but for other people. Like, you ruin it for the next time you go there. It's just stupid. Take it home and put it in the bin. But it's mighty windy up here. So I'm going to get back on the bike. I'm going to try and ride in one location where I know I can do a bit of like gravelly riding. It's not epic. It's nothing fancy. But I just want to see how the knobbly tires hold up. So let's get back on it and go. This is not where I was intended on going, but we can check it out. And as you can see, this is why I got the knobbly tires put on the bike. Not actually quite sure where this brings you out, you know. Hmm, okay. Is it just a farmstead? Oh wow, this is gorgeous. Okay, beautiful view, beautiful land, <clears throat> but <clears throat> that is indeed private access, so we are not going that way. Let's try the other way. is a road I wanted to check out because I know it's a bit bumpy. It's nothing epic, but I just wanted to see what it was like getting down here. But after that other one we've just driven down, this should be fine. Like, look, I've got grip. Look, I can brake well easily. This is perfect. This is honestly exactly what I wanted. Look at this place, man. It's just stunning. Absolutely stunning. Oh. I tell you what, I'm gonna make a phone call whilst I'm here. Dun 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 dun. Oh, I'm definitely looking forward to summer. My fingers are frozen. But again, would you look at that view? Oh, well, it turns out my accountant isn't in. So off we pop. All right, well, that was a bit of a fun adventure. I would love to say I've got loads more places to go, but I actually don't. Instead, um, <laughs> I'm gonna head home because I've got a meeting with my accountant. And Lydia's wondering where I am, so um, yeah, short and sweet, but we're going home. And just like that, we are home. Lovely jubbly, what a ride. I liked it, I liked it a lot. <laughs> Ooh, my fingers are frozen and falling off. Ooh. But she's got a full tank. She performed well. A great success. My hands feel like frozen tundras. Get me inside and get me warmed up. Oh my gosh, it's actually so warm in this garage, which is a bit of a shock to say because it's usually as cold as a fridge. But oh my gosh, I am definitely... <laughs> Definitely a summer rider, but that was absolutely wicked. I am well happy I actually bumped into so many people that I know whilst I was out and about and they were all like oh nice new bike And I'm like no, and they're like what I'm like well, it's from 2012 But the fact that it's 12 years old and looks that good Is either saying I've done a good job of looking after it or I've not ridden it enough And I think it's the uh, the latter version of those choices. So uh, ooh, let's get a sprinkled off back inside and then work out what I'm supposed to be doing logistically because I'm supposed to be going picking up the license plate at half past four but I've also got a meeting with my accountant at half past four so I'm going to try and see if I can stall her by 15 minutes which gives me time to run down there grab the plate get back we can get it installed and then have the meeting also he thinks Whew, man I am chili con carne and just like 
No. And oh, I'm impressed with myself because up there I had one of these, which is perfect for washing and drying it off. Mm. Banking. Ooh. And then she goes, ready for another ride. And hopefully after today, she'll be on new plates. Woo! Great success. Random temporary measure I'm thinking is to potentially drill some hooks into this wall or like an actual just row of hooks, bang that up there and I could high, high, hang individually uh, on my motorbike gear. Because for now, it's just getting thrown on the corner. Oh, it is so toasty in here. I can't even describe it, even without pants. Man, that GoPro was so hard to get off the helmet. Look, try and pull it off. Look what I did. Cut my hand. That mount attachment was just not given at all. Like, I had to put pliers on it and a screwdriver to pinch it out. And you can tell it backfired because I'm bleeding. Right. I'm risking it for a biscuit. I've just tried to ring my account and be like, can I delete my 10 minutes? And she didn't answer, but I'm going to try and see if I can get down eyed, collect the stuff I need and get back in eight. There's only one way to find out. And wow, would you look at that? Now, I managed to get back down to the shop in eight minutes. So definitely not going to make it in time for Amanda, but luckily everything's okay. I've just spoke to her and she's like, yeah, that's absolutely fine. Take your time. So I'm back for my license plate. That's nice all lads. Yes. <laughs> I got my new plate, baby. Man, we are, we're just productive as bollocks nowadays. It's great. And do you know what I love most about it is it's setting my mind to do something and then getting it done rather than like talking and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting, which unfortunately like 99% of my projects that I want to do, I'm waiting on someone, whether it's a secret project or whether it's some building work, it's always relying on other people. And it's not, it's not that I don't appreciate other people's like in talent. I do, I need them. That's it, that's the thing. But I hate not being able to do it myself. I hate being reliant on other people to let me down or disappoint me or whatever it is. I want to get shit done and, and just, oh, make moves. And the move we need to make now is to get home in less than eight minutes. It took me eight minutes to get here. It should take me eight minutes to get back and we should have a great meeting with my accountant. Oh, would you just look at that view? Oh. Amanda, thank you so much. Look at that. Hey, timing. <laughs> I feel like I've spoiled it because it's not finished yet. It's like nowhere near finished. Like it needs pulling together and everything. But if you want to see a bit of change for the house, yeah, you know what I'm going to have to show her. I don't know to what degree you last saw this place. Nope. It was what? Full of boxes, Syndicate Original. Yeah. Great improvement then. You last saw it when it was boxes at Syndicate uh, Original? Yes. Yeah. Ta-da! Oh my goodness. Totally wow. different space, right? Nice. It's actually usable. Look at that. All right, so the, the bar fridge, I did drill through. Yeah, but look. It cost £700. Oh, my God. Yeah, I drilled through it whilst the ice in it. Don't oh. talk about it. Roll the clip. <laughs> That's the sofa from upstairs. Is it really? How much sense does that make? Yeah, got my YouTube plaques on the wall. We've got the new fridge coming on Thursday. Yeah, lovely. And does that, does that work? <laughs> yeah, it works. Everything works. Look at it. Time for a party. Absolutely. <laughs> as long as everyone takes a mess home with them. Now, I know you're my accountant. Mm -hmm. Right, and we're just gonna have to twiddle the books. I don't care how it is or what it is. When you ask me how much money I've spent on these boxes, go on. You're probably gonna tell me I've it's not allowed. gone. I've got no. You're gonna tell me I've gone broke and I've got to sell the house because I've probably bought about 700 boxes in the last 48 hours. I'm joking. No, I'm I'm, I'm obsessed with buying them. Oh, but how much tidier did the house look? Yeah, yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, much better. There you go. Yeah. It's, it's all worth the, the pennies. And we interrupt this meeting because Lydia is home with the uh, <laughs> outfits for the child who is currently sleeping. That's so <laughs> cute, Lydia. Look at baby sensory. That's oh, adorable. <laughs> go and get ready because you've got to go oh, out. No oh, he massively grows in between our meetings, doesn't he? Yeah, Look at him. Massive. I'm a, I, I'm massive, but, you know. He's a big, chunky Chinese boy and I yeah. love him. What are you going off watching? Hamilton. She's going watching Hamilton and Amanda's yeah. like, you really need a bit of context before you go into it. Yeah, Where are you going for food? Food. Oh, are you? What were you doing? Takeaway. We can't have that either because we, we can't have takeaway because we're healthy eaters now. I've got it out for you. What have you got? Oh, is it the chili con carne? Pulled pork. We'll take it. <laughs> Lydia, get out of here. Go, go, Just go, go, first. go. Friend of boy. You've had lots of snuggles, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> Get off me, mum. Yeah, you know when you signed up to be my accountant, did you think you'd be babysitter as well? Yep, Look at him! How chunky is it? I'm gonna send you an extra bill for this. No! <laughs> Knew it! When I need another babysitter, I know where to go. <laughs> See you later, Amanda. Bye-bye!
Oh, multitasking. Well, that was interesting, wasn't it? He actually started kicking off towards the end, so I had to take my entire meeting, like, for the last 20 minutes, stood up, just judging him around like this to calm him down, but... Great success with Amanda. Did kind of have to explain, like, when she checks my uh, business books, that there'll be a billion of these going through and a billion of these going through. She's just lucky that the clearance buckets for 50p were sold out. Otherwise, I would have bought 500. Right. Can I leave you in there being rocked to and throw whilst I build the lamp? You're not saying yes. You're not saying no. And more importantly, you don't seem to be crying. So I'm going to turn your speed of movement up just by a little bit. And hopefully watching daddy build a lamp is all the entertainment you need. I'm going to give this 35 seconds and I think he's going to be crying. I've got his music turned on. I'm going to slowly step away and try and see if I can go and get the lamp. I'll bring it here and build it. Don't worry. Don't panic. Everything's going to be A-OK. -okay. Package acquired. I'm not sure what's going on, but he seems to be having a stare off with a sheep. Are you right there, Alfie? <laughs> it's like locked into his eyes. I don't even think I need tools to build this. I think it just slots together. Because as I'm looking at this one, I don't think I see any bolts of sorts. I take it back. I made it as far as picking up the booklet and um, he's not happy. Oh boy. I've got a feeling this lamp's going to take a while to build. Seriously? I bang on MKBHD and he's happy? I'm living. Ooh, Marquez did not really buy me an awful lot of time. I think it's because little dude's hungry. So I think if I give him this... Oh, 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 He's going to be an awful lot happier. Look at those little eyes. He's so content once he gets fed. Oh, my little dude. How happy are you now after you've had a massive feed? Look at you. Are you just a fat chunky boy? Look at you. You, you look comatose. <laughs> Almost 30 seconds later. He is out of it. You were supposed to sleep for like an hour then. Care to explain what happened? I didn't even have time to do anything. I build the lamp and no, don't go smiling at me. You explain right now as to why you're not fast asleep still. <laughs> This guy. Listen, I didn't want to have to do it this way, but I've put you in baby jail because I need both my hands to make some dinner. So I'm going to give you a bounce. I'm going to step away and open the microwave. Eh? Where my dinner tonight is looking um, pretty random because uh, Lydia's out of the theatre, so <laughs> I'm having reheated pulled pork on brioche loaf sandwiches. Random, I know, but I'm a very simple fella. If I get food put inside me, I'm absolutely fine. We do love our tasty snacks, don't we? But at the same time, substance is substance. Or is it sustenance? I have no idea. And you know what? This pulled pork is pretty good. It smells amazing. Looks delicious. But the question is, how does it taste? Mmm. 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 That that is so damn good. I'm not even kidding. But to say that was defrosted from when she cooked it. Oh my gosh, that is, oh, look at it. Oh my gosh. That is very nice. Um, and I don't know how I've only just thought about this, but I could just use the copy and paste gun. So all I've got to do is turn it on, copy, and if it's going there, paste. Nice. Now to get an Alexa smart plug on it. And as long as I've set it up right, we should be good. So. Turn on the playroom lamp. Hey, Great success, but I think this is my sign to remove the Guinness World Records off the wall. They should obviously go downstairs into the man cave basement, but I just don't know where to put them. Oh, well, that's a problem for another day. Because for right now, I'm being a multitasking father. Feeding Alfie again and watching back the vlog. This is the way. Are you ready for the ultimate sight of confusion? Watch. He's all out of drink. Look at his eyes. <laughs> Look at him weighing up the fact that it's all gone. And now I'm going to remove the bottle because I need to burp him. Yeah. <laughs> you freaking fat guy. He just drank so much and then literally went, Ma. <laughs> you need a burp now? Of course you do. Several hours later. If I'm right in saying, I think Mama Bear has just walked in through the door. Hi. Hi, how was your play? Hello. <laughs> Hi. Should we show Mummy what we managed to do? Are you ready? Turn on the playroom. Okay. 
Oh, snap, your lamp's in place. We managed to do that with the help of the teleport gun. Oh, wait, that's a different gun. Uh, the copy and paste gun. This is the teleport gun. It's pretty good. Just whenever you pull the trigger, you go somewhere else. It's annoying, though, because sometimes you end up in other rooms. But sometimes you end up in really convenient places. Like so. And it's actually also a drill. And it's coming with me because I want to try something. I got it still in teleport mode. <laughs> There we go, just where we need to be. I'm gonna go ahead and flick that setting off now. And I'm gonna go ahead and remove the bolts from the back of my old license plate. I'm still yet to do the transfer switch over, but I'm gonna preemptively the 200 IQ about this. Dun, 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 dun. Take it off. Work out what drill bit size this is. Looks like it's 5.5 mil. Grab our new plate. And what I was gonna do is simply put this one on top of the new plate, drill through the same holes, cause then they'd be smack bang in the same place to put back on. But if I remember rightly, when Speedy dropped off the bike, he asked me the question as to why my license plate was off to the left and drilled a bit weird. So I'm not gonna do the method the guy at the shop recommended and instead try and mark it out myself. One Sharpie and a few marks later. We're gonna see how badly I can mess this up. All right, got a bit of wood down. I'm just gonna put this into position and... Oh, I think I may have just cracked it. Oh no. Mmm, he's done a good job. And just kind of got it a bit close to the three, but it is what it is. I would have loved it to go in the middle, but for the measurements and balancing, that's where it's going for now. If I do need to buy another one and just adjust it across, I can do it. It costs £11, so there's that. All right, now for the next one. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Nice. We have our holes. And now for the moment of truth. Do they fit through? Boom, 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 boom. Hmm. That's a bit tight. I think we might just have to skirt through then with the six mil. Nothing like trying to rush the job, seeing as though uh, Lydia's home and uh, <laughs> wants to get in bed. <laughs> All right, let's give this a fresh old tweak. Just a little bit bigger. Nice. And the next one. What awful sound that made. Blech. All right, let's try these ones. And the survey says, there we go. The answer was they were six mil. All right, how badly did we mess this up? Let's throw this into place. And hey, presto, it is perfecto. Nice. Time for a bit of peel porn. Oh, lovely. And just like that, he's only gone and done it. Honestly, well happy I managed to get this done in today's vlog. I thought it was gonna be a tomorrow job because it was just me and Alfie. But in true Tom form, when Lydia gets home and wants to go to bed, I'm like, I'm just gonna be one second, I've got a task to do. And I scurry into my garage to get the job done. Two things, I could have obviously put the bolts between the X and the three and between the three and the three a bit more, but I didn't do because I wanted it to be symmetrical between the indicators. And I think that's what the problem was with this one. So I'm glad I've done it this way instead. And secondly, I've got to point this out because I'm a little bit gutted, but if you look really closely on the plate, everything looks looks fine until you look at the T, the G and the C and you can see these like scratch marks going through it and that's obviously not for me because it had the protective cover on it and there's no scratchings on the back so I think it's actually to do with the print of how the plate was made and unfortunately it's pretty damn noticeable in points like it's chipped as well and I just think it looks pretty damn rubbish. So a little bit gutted about that but it did only cost £11 so is it really worth complaining about? If we need another one we can get another one and the chances are when I take this thing off-roading I'm most likely going to snag the plate, rip it off and need a new one anyway. So good night sweet prince. Tomorrow we'll sort out the changeover and then I'll be legally allowed to ride on the road with that license plate getting to and from and everything should be absolutely Sorted. In true Tom fashion, it is now at 20 past midnight. Lydia's already tucked up in bed with Alfie and I need to be heading that way as well. So guys, I am going to end this vlog now. I hope you've enjoyed it. It's been an absolute blast from gyms to motorbikes to just random shenanigans. It's bloody vlogs at it all, even saunas. Like, maybe you didn't need to see Sweaty Tom so much, but it is what it is. And regardless, it is my life. I just share whatever I get up to and these shenanigans are pretty much... 24-7 and constantly ongoing. So if you are someone who likes my shenanigans, guys, do me a favor, leave a like rating on the video, leave a comment down below as to what your favorite part of the vlog was. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you click that subscribe button because we're trying to hit 2.6 million subscribers and you guys are absolutely smashing, getting us to that goal. And if you are that person who sat there, who hasn't made a YouTube account, who tunes in every day and watches, create an account, click the subscribe button, ding dong the bell, and I'll see you guys tomorrow at 7 p.m. on the dot for the next weekday vlog. So until then, thanks for watching. I am shattered and I'm going to bed. Serios.